I want you to think about this. If you have issues with weight, weight is just a symptom. And what do you know about weight or what do you know about a symptom? A symptom is just your body telling you that something is not quite right. There is an imbalance going on underneath the surface that's causing that symptom. So let's kind of just explore a little bit like what are some of the symptoms of weight loss? I'm sorry, I, I misspoke. What are some of the underlying imbalances that are causing you to have an inability to lose weight or that are causing you to gain weight? So let's just rattle off a few. First, we have insulin resistance, right? Your blood sugar can be high, but you can also have insulin resistance and your blood sugar be low. So that would also be hypoglycemia. So you can have hyperglycemia, which is high blood sugar. You can have hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar. You can be under a lot of stress, right? Where your adrenal glands are pumping, pumping, pumping out cortisol, and you are storing fat all around your midsection and your body shape looks like an apple, right? There's many of you out there that have that apple body shape, but it's really just cortisol. It's really just a state of stress, right? So um, the other thing you can have, I have these written so that I <laughs> don't forget any, you can have low thyroid right? If you have low thyroid, your metabolic rate goes down, everything slows down. You're not burning as much calories just at your resting rate. And it's going to increase your weight. Um, you can also have food sensitivities. When you have food sensitivities, it causes inflammation. You can have infections going on underneath the surface. When we have infections, it makes our bodies be in a state of stress. And we're going to hold on to weight if we're in a state of stress. You can have toxins that includes biotoxins. That means um, toxins that come from the environment like mold and Lyme's disease. You can have heavy metal toxicity. You can have environmental toxins, which we're gonna talk about later. So there's all kinds of reasons why you can't lose weight. It's not simply decrease calories, increase exercise, decrease your fat. It's let's figure out what the underlying root cause is, address it. And I can assure you that it's probably not just one, it's probably two, three, four, maybe even five of those um, underlying imbalances, right? So I um, worked with a lady today that I accepted as a patient and she needed to lose a significant amount of, of weight. And when we look at her labs, she's got Hashimoto's, she's got hypothyroid, she's got diabetes, she's got a lot of inflammation, she's got multiple infections, and she likely has mold toxicity, she has mold exposure, she got really, really sick after being exposed to mold in her apartment. And all of those things add up to all of the symptoms that she's dealing with, including the inability to lose weight. And I am very certain that as soon as we start handling those issues, um, that her weight is going to come off and it's going to come off pretty quickly. All right. So let's talk about some of the things that you can start implementing right away to start giving you great results. The top four inflammatory foods that will quickly help you with weight loss. Number one is gluten not eating it, <laughs> eliminating it, right? So these are very inflammatory foods that we've got to eliminate from our diet. So gluten, dairy, yes, I said dairy, soy, and corn, okay? Gluten, dairy, soy, and corn. Those are the top four inflammatory foods that are in our diet that is keeping you from losing weight. 